So today I am proving to you that a new kind of desiccant for your 3D printing might just be the end gam desiccant for your filament drying. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Here is the original tried and true silica gel desiccant. And here is the brand new, or brand new to me that I just learned, activated alumina rechargeable desiccant. Okay, so this has been advertised uh, from actual Bamboo's technical website for use with their PVA printing material. Okay, so interestingly, I've never heard about activated alumina until Bamboo mentioned it when I was doing research on setting up the PVA printing properly. Um, and it blew me away. And just quickly show you guys why it blew me away is right here. Guess which one is the alumina? Um, so over here, I have my traditional silica gel that's brand new that I just took out and put in the AMS with the printed uh, uh, silica gel holder. Over here is what I just put in yesterday. And uh, this 1% literally happened after two hours. It dropped from 22% down to 1% and it stayed there. It hasn't changed for the whole day, almost the whole day. And that's from the activated alumina, okay? This uh, hygrometer doesn't go below 10%. So it's stuck at 10 because it's already lowest it can detect. But the printer can. So right here, you can see the starking difference, okay? And I live in a super high humidity area, Florida, where my humidity is constantly above. I'm going to show you guys my current humidity, okay? Above 60%. Do you have a 1% humidity level for drying filament? It's like godsend. So if you guys are looking for a reliable end gam desiccant for your 3D printing, look for activated alumina. Forget about silica gel. The great thing about this is it's rechargeable. In the oven, 250 degrees Celsius for two hours, it's ready to go again. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like and subscribe for more 3D printing related videos. And happy printing and take care.